guys, what's happening? It is time to clean the lemurs and give you a little bit of a lemur update. And also we're just, Z and I are getting this done. Z, are you raking? Okay. <laughs> Get to raking. Well, actually, I'm ordered by the doctor to kind of take it easy. I got my doctor's appointment and everything. So we got to wait and see what's going on. John's on his way down. He's bringing a friend of his daughter out today to help us on the farm. And uh, we'll see what she can handle. Who knows? All right, well, Z's got that cage raked out, so that's perfect. I just heard John, and he's bringing his friend's daughter out today to help us. Oh, there they are. John, hey what's guys, up? what's up? New bamboo. New bamboo cut and ready. Nice. What's up, brother? Hey, guys, this is Kimberly. Kimberly, Kimberly Robbie, hi. Zoli. Nice to meet nice you, guys. Good Hello. handshake. Good handshake. Not wow, all, not all soft and poofy. Good because you're gonna need it because you got to. That's uh, nice. You yeah. got to work. Yeah, you got to work. I'm ready. All right, ready. come on. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you in. Z already did the first cage. You can help Z rake out this cage, and uh, we'll get the new bamboo we already cut. We'll put new bamboo in, and we'll show you how we do that. Then we'll take you in, and uh, you get to feed that group of lemurs. Awesome. You'll get to go in there. We got two babies in there. We got uh, Zelda right there, a little one. And then um, another female's baby, the bigger one right there. So they're just starting to venture off. Um, we haven't even named Z, baby. No, well, that's going to Carl. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. the male. Yeah. You want to get... Um, where's? Let me get her the shovel. You rake all that up and... Guess what you get to do? Just hold the show. You're, I hear you're used to working with dogs. So. so you can shovel poop? I can. That's what Z's doing now is raking up all the poop. We just rake it up and then we throw it out over there as fertilizer out in the bamboo. Right. Um, baby is the one still up there. Uh so as you can see, we've got the blocks blocked off because this is Mort's habitat. Mort is our crazy male because he is a bottle-raised baby. And males tend to get crazy when you bottle-raise them when they, get, when they hit sexual maturity. Interesting. They treat you as an equal instead of... Uh, Interesting. Like you'll see, this male, he, he'll bite you, he'll do everything. This male in here was a, raised by the troops, so he's great. Same thing with dogs. You know how they pack mentality? Yeah. They have to have an alpha? 100%. Well, if they don't know you're an alpha or don't treat you like that, then they're One like more. They yeah. bite you. Gotcha. Like when we have to lock more up, I go in there and do it because he'll run from me. Yep. Are you ready? Yep. All right, getting a little work done here before we... Uh, Go in and feed. There's yeah. baby. Hi, baby. He's like, my family's in there. Let them out. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. That's good. Yep. What are you doing, baby? Checking Z out? Seeing what he's doing? All right, we need uh, two smaller ones, John, in here. You can put that one in here, yeah. Z, you wanna, which one are you going to with that? You wanna go? Go here. All right, there. And then get a small, a thinner one, John. Yeah, that one. That's got good bend. Good bend for the other side, yeah. Where Z can get it in and notice he does it nice and slow so they don't break. Uh, Why do you guys put the bamboo in there for? Well, not only does it work as shade, but it's also 
they love, the ringtails love to eat the bamboo. They eat leaves in the wild. They're more of a vegetarian style lemur. There's over a hundred species of lemur in the wild. And the ringtails eat more leaves and seeds and stuff like that and occasional fruits. They get fruits as treats. You wanna put another small one on that side? Uh, yeah, you can put one more that way, Z, so it- On this one or this yeah, one? On, go this way with the- So the, it goes the, back the that way. Yeah. Bring one this way, for, bring this one forward. Thank you. Or you can put that one forward and take that one more back. This one's gonna break. No, it won't, you got it. Okay. I have faith in you, Z. Just lives in here by no, there's actually five lemurs with him. He's a baby. He's going to be starting a new troop for us soon as we get the new lemur area built. He's the one I was telling you about, runs around the yard, yep. raids my truck. Okay. Yeah, he will. He squeezes in and out of these okay, bars. That's, the one. that's insane. It's he's a contortionist. Crazy. And it's weird because the bars are this way. Uh -huh. He can squeeze through. Now over here the bars are horizontal. A vertical. A vertical. Yeah. And yeah, I always get that confused. Horizontal, vertical. Verticals up and down, horizontals left to right. So vertical, he That's cannot horizon, squeeze. Horizon. That's a good way. <laughs> I'll I'll probably remember it now. Uh but he that one no that's interesting because the bars there. it's the same size bars but hmm. because they're vertical on that he can't squeeze through it interesting. he can only squeeze through it if they're horizontal and it's, he's getting a little big he's putting on some weight so it, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle when i see him do it oh yeah but he's still pretty quick and typically a lever can survive just on bamboo alone. Not just on bamboo alone. That's why they get all their other food. These guys get broccoli. They get apples. They get sweet potato. They get carrots. They're very, they're very spoiled here. Oh, very spoiled. But typically they don't probably find all of those things. No, they don't find a lot of them naturally in the wild in Madagascar. There is not a lot of, there's no sweet potatoes. There's, <laughs> you know... All right, Z, you want to bring it out? It's coming. Just pull the plug. Yep, we're clear. Z's like, I'm out of here. Mort's. First one out? Yep, of course. Mort's the first one out. And they got a little bit of sphagnum moss on there. They love eating the sphagnum. I was going to ask about the moss if they like that. Oh, they love it. They love eating the moss. That's the first thing they're going for. Look at them. The moss is like a treat. But if you give them a bunch of moss, that's all they'll eat. Really? And okay. it's not healthy. The bananas are like their crack. Yeah. Yeah. The bananas for lemurs, it's especially these guys. Well, and the black and whites, it's like crack. They love it. It's like candy. Now you'll, you'll get to meet the black and white lemurs later. They're called rough lemurs. They have a shorter digestive tract. So all they eat is a lot of fruit. So they will actually find a tree in Madagascar that's a fruit tree, a date tree or a fig tree or any of the fruit trees, and they will guard the tree. Their troop will wow. take turns watching the tree while the other parts of the troop eat, and then they'll switch off. And they will not let another troop near there. Mort's getting bullied by the females because he's getting put in his place. The females run the troop on lemurs on all of the uh species of lemurs the females run it they're the boss mm -hmm. much like you know humans <laughs> <laughs> like any uh marriage it, yeah like any marriage at least i'm man enough to admit it <laughs> you know we like to say we run things but say without throwing that means the bathroom without my wife i know i i couldn't get anything accomplished I'd be a basket case. Yeah. Aw. All right, Z, you ready? Let's take some... Uh, you want to take Kimberly in here and teach her how to do the bamboo? Okay. We'll hand it in to you. Yep. And John, you want to hand him in the bamboo? He'll tell you which pieces he needs first. Well, that's big go on in, Kimberly. In yeah, yeah, go on in. 
They're, they're going to look for food, love on you, and then when you don't have any, they'll get out of the way. Which ones do you want to start with, Z? Uh, the biggest. He's going to go the big tubes first. That way it's, you know, easier for her to get the hardest one out of the way. Go up over the 4 by 4 there, Z. Yep. Now these you got to be careful with when you bend them because these will break. So you got to bend it towards the top there. Z's got that one. Hold on, John. Let him get that one in place first. What can I do to help you? Um, support the top. If I can reach her, I can do it. <laughs> I can she, climb up. Yeah, she's... I can climb up like a monkey. Yeah. <laughs> They'd actually probably join you. <laughs> They'd be like, hey, wait. She's up here with us. Okay. Like, who the heck is this? So, Go this climbing. back corner, Z. Yeah. This one, that's a bigger tube. Yeah, you can put probably both those in there. Okay, so I'll support the top so it won't break. Get closer to the base so that way you can control a bit more. Oh, okay, I understand. Yeah. And we got a good bend here. It's all right if it does Put break. Just flex it a little bit and get the angle. There you go. Don't be, don't be afraid. Is it in there all the way? No, push. Gotta go Just all push way. all the way to the ground. Oh, got it. Okay. One more push, probably. Yep, there you, there you go. Cool. And that way it bends and it goes across the top. And, and Z, you, you might want to... Is that one long? No, that one's pretty short, so you can... No, this is good. Not as thick. Z's got it. Put that one right here in this big tube, Z. Okay. Just switch it around. Because this one's not a full top. Careful. So just have Kimberly down. bend the top a little for you. Take it all the way. And Kimberly, start to bend that top a little. There you go. And just go slow, Z. So yep. you... Okay, you can you let go? Yeah. There we go. All right. Hold on. I think they're not all that shy. John's calling. Hello, John. They give you room to work, but they're not. Are you here? All right. I will have John come open the gate for you. All right. Bye. John, you want to go, Z, you want to give John the keys so he can go open the gate? John's here today to help us, too. But John's here. Not that John, the other John. The green one, right? Uh, yeah. And just lock it behind him, John. Yeah. Now, see how they're already starting mm -hmm. on the, uh, hi. You, you can hold their your hand out to them. Okay. They'll just sniff you and... There's the little baby. This is this little baby we named after a uh, friend of ours who just passed away. Oh. Uh, we named her Zelda. Zelda. And she's she's getting very adventurous now. <laughs> she's adorable. She is so cute. And she is the only female that was born in this cage. This baby is a male. And he was born a lot earlier. That's why he's so much bigger. Okay. And now with the babies, you have to be careful because they will bite you just because they're not being mean. They're just tasting you. Yeah. Okay. And they don't realize your fingers aren't food yet. Right. What now, yeah, yeah. Like, I was going to say kind of similar to teething. Like, like puppies. Maybe, yeah. Now, if you look at our lemurs, look how fluffy their tails mm -hmm. are. Now, in the wild, during the time of year when everything's fruiting and all the vegetables are available their tails are like this but in the months where there's no food available very little food leaves their tails get very scrawny looking mm. and they get all like their fur looks like it's mange almost mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, they go through months like that where and then once the uh, trees and all the veggies start and the rains come and everything starts uh, fruiting. 
then they get all fluffy like this and look healthy. Now, ours thing. look like this, obviously, because all year round. Yeah, well, they're VIP. <laughs> they get the VIP yes. treatment. They're beautiful. Do they, now, do they blow their coat like some other animals do or no? Do they what? Do they shed? Yes. Yes, they do. Yes. Okay. They, their coats will get thick and they will shed. And we actually had one black and white lemur that was in the office a lot during the winter because we had to separate him from the female because he was trying to breed her constantly and oh. she was kicking his butt. Uh -huh. And they're too young yet. So this year, hopefully, they're of age and we can produce black and white lemurs. But he was shedding really bad because the office was so cold. Mm. So his coat got really thick okay. and it, you had to brush him out. And we were getting enough fur to create three other lemurs. Oh, cool. <laughs> it was amazing. All right, Z, so you want to get some more bamboo? Do we have more out there? Yeah. You want to put one? Uh, how many more do we have? Uh, six. Six? I think we only need one, two, three more. Okay. <laughs> as soon as we get the food in here, they're going to be coming up to you and Hi. wanting food. You get to baby see kept, them. He kept the, the boy kept coming up to me, but then he gets scared and he runs away. Yeah, that's how they are when they're go. young like that. Where are we? Where are we going? Uh, Kimberly, you could put that one probably in there, in there, and face the top that way. Okay. So it goes across the side of the cage. You want to help her with that one, Z? Where do you want the end? You want it kind of going that Yeah, Z will walk it over there. Yep. Once you get it in there and started. John's got a full beard going. Look at him. Morning, John. Morning, John. Morning, Go ahead, bring that rope down, Z. Yep. Jump, boy! <laughs> now, the rope is, uh, they don't real. they'll, like, grab it for a second and then bounce off it. They're not like a true monkey. Okay. These are, they are in the monkey family in a sense. They're called prosciniums. Okay. They're the oldest classification of primate. There's actually fossils of these guys back when the dinosaurs roamed, like when the elephant birds were in Madagascar and stuff like that. Were the fossils of these guys to scale for the time period, were they bigger? They were a little, slightly bigger. They were more like the uh, roughs and that. So the larger lemur breeds. Yeah. And there was a giant lemur as well that's extinct now. Now, all lemur species are actually uh, endangered. Because, I was ask if they were. well, in Madagascar, it's a poor country, and people actually hunt these and eat them. And then also, habitats disappearing because they're trying to farm land, so they're cutting down forest. But I got something cool about lemurs that I guarantee you didn't know. They are actually just as good at pollinating as bees are. Really? and creating rainforest because they'll eat the fruits, they poop out the seeds, and therefore a new tree starts. Think about that. You're dropping a seed with fertilizer. Yeah, well, it, the seed germinates. The yeah. belly acids cause the seed to germinate, and then when they poop it, it sprouts and starts a new forest. Very cool. And then see the whiskers on their face? Uh -huh. They love to eat flowers. So when they're eating flowers, they're getting that pollen and they're transferring it to the next plant and to the next plant, just like bees do. That is so cool. They are truly amazing animals. Z, you want to get, what do we need? One more right here yeah, in this tube? All right. Pretty important. Yeah, they are very important to the ecosystem. Yeah. I wish, I wish there was a way we could breed lemurs and reintroduce them to Madagascar. But the problem with Madagascar is, like I said, it's a poor country. And then tribes are just going to hunt. The locals are going to hunt lemurs for bush food. is Bush meat is what they call it. 
and it's a delicatessen over there, but well, people use it to survive. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, and plus Madagascar is disappearing at an alarming rate. Sad. They're cutting down all those trees and it's actually, if you looked at Madagascar on Google Maps, you would see a orange rim around it in the ocean. That's the sand and the soil going into the water. Wow. Because they cut down all the trees, yeah. what keeps, stops the erosion, and it just starts disappearing. So a thousand years from now, who knows if there will even be a Madagascar. Mm. And it's super, super sad. It was connected to uh, Africa at one time, but then it broke off and formed its own island. And it's a, it's a big island, but... I don't know. I'd love to kick everyone off Madagascar and move there and just do my house there. You're starting your own Madagascar here? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd be awesome if I actually had an island and you could let these guys run free. That'd be so cool. You know, that'd be so awesome. A lot of zoos will actually make a moat around an island for these guys awesome. and have several different lemur species on there. Um, it costs a lot. It, it just... It would cost a lot. And you'd have to have a lot. I'd If I did that, you know me, it'd have to be 20 acre islands, at least minimum. <laughs> I just, I think bigger is better and. How many lemurs total do you have here? Uh, we have five, six, seven in this uh, enclosure. We have five in that enclosure. And then we have one more down at the other end who uh, belonged to a friend of ours named Kimberly, who's a professional wrestler. Oh, wow. And, well, she was. Now she's a big wig at Hard Rock. Very cool. And she, uh, she bottle raised him, and he's, he's a jerk. He hates women, but he's okay with some men. He hates Z-Dog because Z-Dog has long hair. So he associates Z-Dog as a woman <laughs> sorry z <laughs> wait, 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 wait. don't we all <laughs> oh oh i'm z, not allowed to show the that? hand gesture what's that read between the lines, yeah, read the lines. <laughs> you know what you told me the other night Rob? yep between the lines? <laughs> i'm illiterate <laughs> z you want to put that one right here in this one and okay. just put it over there can you do switch it around or no? Um, no, put it in that one. We got an open tube right there. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Oh, okay. why didn't you say so? Because everybody's butts were standing in the way. <laughs> you can bend it. Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. Oh, we got it. Got it? Yep. Cool. There we go. All right, Z. It. Push that up like that there we go it's awesome 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 all right kimberly z's gonna run inside he's gonna grab their treats and you're gonna get to feed the lemurs Yay. and a bunch of them will come up to you Very cool. all right let's go do that nope. all right kimberly come on z's got the food yep. go on in He's such a gentleman. He's like, ladies first. Ladies <laughs> trying to grab the whole bowl from you. Yep. Oh, they will. They will. Now, what we do is we go down and I set the bowl up on here, but I keep a hand on the bowl. Okay. And then you can just reach in, grab pieces, and hand them to other lemurs. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now, some will, they're going to be picky. Yeah. Some days it's figs, some days it's dates, some days it's biscuits, some days it's watermelon, some days it's bananas. Biscuits? But they all love the bananas. It's like crack. Oh. <laughs> the bananas are slippery, so you got to make sure they get it. The best way is put it in their mouth. I'm trying to give it to the baby. All right, let's try one more time. Ready? My mom already has one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's Zelda taking it. So cute. Here, you want a date? What else do we have in here? This is a fig? Yep. Yeah, 
That's a fig. He probably wants a banana. banana. He's like, give me the banana. Listen, lady. <laughs> She's like, quit being stingy. Give me the banana. <laughs> I got what you want. Now, if you get a chance to see it, you can actually see their uh, tongue. They have a second tongue. You want that? It's underneath their tongue. It's a little white tongue, and it's actually a comb. It's not as soft as... <laughs> Oh, you took the biscuit. She uh -huh. did. She's like, I got a biscuit. Oh. You want to date? Oh, you guys are so fun. It's a party. Yay. Yeah. What do you have? You don't have anything. What's that? <laughs> Can't believe that thing could fit in his mouth. I know. <laughs> they'll, they'll open their mouth I think wide. You're just helping yourself. What's in there? You're looking for the bananas, yep. I know what you want. He's Make sure you keep your hand on the bowl, on the bowl. because they will knock, knock it, it over. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. And see, we've got this tube here. Okay. This is for after you feed them. We shove stuff in here. Uh huh. Because it basically makes them work for it okay. and keeps their minds busy. Got it. Got it. You want, you want that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. I want to see that other and that's that's like a cult. was that what the one was doing to the other one? Yeah, um, or you, like when they each groom other? each other, they use their second tongue. It's underneath their main tongue. Very cool. And it's white. Interesting. It's actually a comb. It's pretty neat. Look at that. Zelda came down. She's like, hey, her mom's up there eating a biscuit. Let's see if I can get a banana to Zelda. Zelda, come here. Are you still working on that date? Zelda. This one is so funny. He's just like, I don't need you. I have the bowl. Come here, Zelda. So cute. Just sitting there picking treats. So cute. How oh, adorable. I can't reach you. You, know, you gotta come down, sweetheart. You're with your auntie. Oh, that's your mommy. Zelda's taking one, Z. Oh, mom stole it. Mom. She's like, that's my banana. No, it's, hold on, you'll lose it. Let me hold on. For yeah, you. let me hold that for you so you don't drop it. That's like Halloween candy. What'd you get? But your mouth is yeah. still full. You're trying to get in here still? Your baby. Yeah. Zelda, come here. Over your shoulder. Be agitated. You're not feeding me. Oh, she stopped, of course. Agitated, you're not feeding me backflips on the log. Nala. <gasps> Nala doesn't want the banana. The baby wants the banana, but Nala Where's doesn't. The baby at? Right on the back. Oh. Did you get it? Did the baby get it? Yep. Awesome. Kinda. Looks like he wants it. Here. There you go. You got it. Oh, he got it. She got it. The other one wants the date. That's, no, that's, I'm confused all the time. That's the girl, right? Yes. And then that's yes. the boy. This is yep. the, girl, that's the little the one is Zelda. That's the female. And this is the little boy. Oh, my gosh. It's her, like... She's still working on that tiny little piece. Half-brother, I guess. Oh. Because the father's the same, but okay. the mothers are different. You guys Hi. are the best. Oh, my goodness. And Julian's usually the one sitting at the bowl. Is that him, Z? No, you don't want to eat? Yeah. Yeah, Julian always sits at the bowl to eat. No, that's not Julian now. Where's Julian now? Now, the males have a big spike on their forearm. It's actually a scent gland. And they use it to rub their tail on there and rub it on wood. And they'll pop it on the uh, metal on the fence here to rub their scent everywhere. Okay. There he is. He's up there? Right there. On the log. The two females took a spot. <laughs> look at Zelda coming over here to look at my fingers. 
she's stretching over trying to see. She's like, what you got? Zelda. There you go. They're amazing animals. They truly, truly are. Now, the reason we can go in with this troop is because this is all raised by the uh, troop, the babies. So they actually stay a lot friendlier. That's interesting that the one that was bottle raised. raised is the one that's not. Well, it's because he treats you as an equal. Okay, that makes sense. That and that. you're like with us, we're men. So he's going to try to fight us because those are his females. I understand. And in here, Julian, who sits, right is there. up top eating away. He, he could care less. He's like, yeah, they're my females and you guys know it. So come on in. <laughs> so they're all females except for the one, right? Yeah, there. Julian's the only male oh, in okay. here and the bigger baby. Now the bigger baby is going to a friend of ours, Carl, who owns a place called Single Vision. And he has a, an amazing place as well up there. He's got bears, lions, tigers, yeah. ev jags, everything, wolves, oh my God. everything. In Which Florida? one day, yeah, one day we will eventually have. Havana? It's what we've decided to do here is we used to be open to the public. And right now what we're going to do is we're going to take volunteers till we can get it. A hundred percent and big and all the big cats back and everything. And uh, then we'll open back up to the public. But for now, we'll take people and train them working with venomous snakes, with snakes, with crocodiles, with alligators, with the lemurs. And that way they get their experience here and everything. And they can go on to get a job somewhere else. Like um, Gatorland has their YouTube uh, they have a person called named Savannah over there who does a lot of stuff with their, she's their big YouTuber. And Gatorland's an incredible place, what they do with wildlife. And Savannah actually started working with Crocodilian here and learning little bits and pieces here. And then she went on to get a job at Gatorland and she learned a lot more there. And she's, she's doing incredible over there, awesome. and it's a great relationship for Gatorland and for her. And she obviously loves alligators. She loves reptiles. <laughs> she likes the lemurs, but reptiles is her, crocodiles and alligators is her passion. They are so cute. They're so, so awesome. What do you guys think of the lemurs? I know you guys love them. Oh, you got a biscuit? Oh. Now the biscuits we feed them are a special primate diet, leaf feeder diet that a company called Missouri makes. I was going to ask and if you made them here yourself. So it's okay. No, these are made by a company called Missouri and they're a leaf feeder diet for primates and lemurs. They seem to really like them. Oh, they love them. They love the biscuits. But they get the biscuit every night with their dinner and in the morning with their breakfast. And then when we come in and film with them, when we do the cage cleaning, like I told you earlier, we do it twice a week. We'll replace the bamboo. We'll feed uh, their breakfast with them. And then leave some in the tube for them. Look at that. There's so, a little baby. Here you go. Little baby rabbit. <laughs> that little baby boy, he's, he'll grab the banana right away. He's not shy. Mm -hmm. And this here is a rare exotic, uh, <laughs> but it's it's native to Florida. It's it's a fisherman. What do you call that? It, it, I've never we, seen We have an exotic term. <laughs> <laughs> They're usually out on boats. Well, they own boats that are out there fishing. 
We like boats because we float. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sort of like a turd, huh? Exactly. <laughs> you know the two flushes, the one that doesn't go down the first time? <laughs> that's the healthy ones. Yeah, that's what they say. Full of fiber. Zelda's so awesome, that little female. Do you want a banana? Can I put it in here? Uh, two you can set it right up here and they'll grab it. Here's Zelda. Oh, you missed it. She's got banana on her face. The, the babies are very... They need very a napkin. Young. Right? The babies are very cautious because they know they're small. It, yeah. It's just that survival instinct. That it's, it's cool here because the babies will go out of the enclosure... And then if a buzzard or a hawk flies over, mom yells and the babies come oh, back wow. in. And you hear their communication, their... Mm -hmm. They've got so many different... I wish I could break the... Different noises. Yeah. I've noticed it's just hanging out with them. For and they'll do that. And then they'll do the... They'll click. And then, of course, the... Sound much like I do when I eat. <laughs> and you definitely know when they're nervous or agitated. Yeah. Oh, and they bark. Oh my goodness. Oh, they have like a bark sound. Yeah. It's a big warning. When sign. we're working up by Zabu and Jupiter, you usually hear it a couple times a day. They just get ugly at each other through the cage. Really? Or it's the, or uh, the uh, buzzards, buzzards yeah. or the a hawk comes by, and they bark. And the babies come right back in and get on mom that way. Or if there's that dog that comes on the property. I haven't seen in months, but we had a stray dog that was coming on the property every once in a while. And they, whoa, man, they start barking like crazy. Isn't it amazing how soft they are? Yeah, I wasn't sure. Like, I didn't want, I, that one let me cut in, but I wasn't sure if they were going to Yeah, their fur is sure so soft. Their fur and their hands. It gets deceptive, though, because the teeth. Oh. Yeah, they have incredible canines. I was explaining to her how wide they open their jaw early and then when they get you. Well, like with the roughs, if that one, a rough bites you, okay. it's going to be six inches. Yeah. Because that's how wide they open their mouth and their bottom canines get in their top ones. Rake you, it's six inch cut. Yeah. Wow. It's going to require at least ten stitches. <laughs> hey, at least you could say... A lemur got me. a lemur, you know, that's kind of yeah. cool. Not often do they hear that. I'm sorry. I have a scar over here from when I was in Korea from the uh, a koala bear, oh, of all wow. things. I was holding it and talking to the keeper, and a bunch of little uh, Korean girls got off a school bus all screaming and running, and he just climbed me like I was a tree. And oh, well, I was going to say, it's got to be you were at a little park because koalas are native to Australia. Yes, I was at, I was at a controlled facility in yeah. South Korea. Yeah. But uh, uh, I managed to uh, finagle my way behind the scenes at a zoo in South Korea. And I was a whole field trip of little girls screaming and running and giggling. And you ko koalas are slow and they're calm and they're cuddly. Dude, they've got a grip. Yeah, that's what got me. They have the claws for climbing. Yep. It was just like somebody hit me with a sharp rake. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how they can do that. Yeah. These guys are just so, so awesome. Man. Kimberly's in heaven. <laughs> like, I'm never leaving. Yeah. I'm gonna stay in the, you guys She's like, I'm me, moving into the lemur You guys can feed cage. me my fruit yeah. in the morning. I'll be fine. Hi, Zelda. You want that? Oh, that wasn't Zelda. That's no, yeah. the male, huh? Yeah, that's the male. Here. You're not guarding the bowl, Kimberly. You're oh, getting too oops, distracted. Like, shoot. <laughs> I thought I was on bowl duty. Oh, he's he's not bad with the bowl. He seems you know, to be holding down the bowl pretty well. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's okay. It's no, the when females when they start pulling at the bowl. Yeah, when more than one's trying he's to get into it. He's been at the bowl the whole time, I think. Hey, buddy. No, he'd been swapping around. Oh, they've been swapping? Yeah. That's the male right so now. Cute. Oh, he was up the there. Male? Yeah, he was yeah, up there. He's cool. That's King Julian. So he's obviously a, he's a stud in thing. here, huh? Yep. You get all the action. Now, here's a cool fact. Did you know uh, ringtail lemurs 
actually only go in heat one time a year. So I heard that. And then how long is their gestation? Their gestation, they usually breed about October, November, December. Okay. It just, it's for one day and they can literally only get pregnant for one hour. Interesting. And it's so crazy that they'll have the babies anywhere from late, well, February, we've had one born on leap day. Yep. Oh, so okay. that's the last day of February. Yep. When they have Every the four years, day. yeah, when they have the extra day. And we named it Leaper. Leaper, that's cool. And um, that way, the male has to breed the female that's in heat at that time. And they know. Yeah, they can smell it. And I remember what I was talking about, about heavy scents and perfumes? Yeah. Because of the, yeah. Very scent based in most wildlife. Mm -hmm. What they see. All wildlife is very mm -hmm. scent based. Scent based. Sight, scent. Sight would probably be primary, scent secondary, and then from there. It's funny that you brought that up because, like, a good friend of mine, Morgan, uh, we used to mess around with each other. Like, I'd go down to ZWF, of my favorite place in Florida, to visit down in Miami. And he worked there raising cats. Mm -hmm. um, one he was one of the few people that knew about it whenever people work with cats if you spray obsession the cologne on someone the cat is going to go crazy and not leave you alone and it will try to spray you what and everything what is it about the, just the, it's, it's the just scent. something the something that like affects their pheromones yeah. or, that's so interesting the, the god remember they, they go never crazy <laughs> If you wear obsession for men, you wear obsession for I will not be wearing obsession for men. <laughs> I used to, and he Morgan used to. I'd get there and he'd sneak around. He'd be like acting like he's getting food ready, and he'd spritz me in the back. And I'm like, Oh no! Why do I smell obs? Morgan, oh, yeah. <laughs> you son of a biscuit! That's, you can't get that smell out of anything. I know. I love the smell, but it's. It's just oh, the, so do the cats. The you don't cat want spray. you don't want you don't want to get mounted by a four hundred pound cat. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that sounds like death. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like death to me. It's it's hey, it's baby. quite something when they're that following you everywhere. <laughs> Hi Nala. You got a bananas. Everyone's so sad about it. Okay. Z will go make get some more bananas for the yeah. other group. Yeah. You want this? You want a date? You want a date? Nobody wants dates today. The it's other big, group it's will. Vegan banana day. The other group will. Yep. They get to pick and choose because they get offered the variety. So we've well, got we've a, we've got a bunch of our subscribers who send us dates and figs all the time and mangoes and stuff like that. Oh, that's Both so cool. Right there. Up there. Over there. Yeah, the the, the yeah, viewers so we have are pretty short. awesome, and they uh, yeah. definitely. Which one are you gonna choose? Another well, fig. Chose, he, he didn't want my fig. He had to get his own. He likes the figs. Yeah. I've been eating uh -huh. figs the whole time. A girl Today? he doesn't oh. know. Oh, touched never mind. It. Yeah. It's done. I think they're full now. Yeah, they're getting, they're getting full. To that point. Yeah, let's. Who wants the last banana? You want it, don't you? Here you go. Hi. Oh. Click. Click. Hi. Do they normally sleep in that in little... Yeah, they go area? in the enclosure and sleep at night. And then uh, they're out all day. And the morning sun hits here. They all sit across the bottom like little Buddhas. That's they sit so there and put cool. their hands out like oh this. God. And that. they just soak up the sun. And during the winter, they, they do soak it a lot. Up the, so they like they the love heat. the sun. They love it. Madagascar's hot. Mm -hmm. And it's, they love it. Yeah, giving up the fruit for the Spanish moss now. Yeah. Yeah, they're full. So they're just nibbling now. Yeah, it's like eating their ice cream after. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Yeah, that sounds, really that good. sounds good right now. Huh? Hot already. It really, really is. Get your baby. You want another one? Should we go get ice cream? No, we've got a lot of work to do yet today. But there you guys have it. Another lemur update. You guys got to spend time in this enclosure. 
and John brought his friend's daughter out, Kimberly, uh, to work on the farm today. So we're gonna get some work done. We're gonna go feed the other enclosure mm -hmm. and then get some work done on the farm. You guys take care, enjoy your day, your weekend. I hope you had a great weekend and you guys rock. What can I say? You guys are absolutely incredible and I'm glad we get a chance, a platform to share our passion with you. Uh, make sure you guys get swamped, share your passion and random act of kindness. It goes a long way, guys. It make the world such a better place. Instead of all this fighting, let's get random acts of kindness going on all over the place and maybe we can kill the evil that's going on in the world today. Well, Kimberly, what'd you think? You have fun? I had a blast. Thank you so much. We start you me. off like this. Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah. it's fun. Uh -huh. Now comes the hard yeah, work. No, no. <laughs> now you're going to sweat. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> start, All right. start off with the cherry on top. Yeah. <laughs> she said, I'm a big girl. I can handle it. <laughs> oh, we're going to see if she can handle it. All right, guys. Take care. Love ya. See ya. Look. <laughs>